yeah so this is about e203 network theory and we have studied something called magnitude response right in magnitude response what we have learned if such kind of transfer function is given to you if omega is very much lesser than a what is going to happen yeah the last gentleman yeah. yes 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 so if omega is much lesser than a then uh, what will be the magnitude of this transfer function yes yes you <laughs> magnitude so your neighbor can help you <laughs> yes hmm? so uh, transfer function in g omega we can write down like this the magnitude will be omega square plus a square right decibel we can write down in minus 20 log omega square plus a square is to minus 1 by 2 so if omega is much lesser than a then what are you going to see here what one by a minus minus 20 log a right Sorry. Right. This is this is the correct one. Right. So this is just a uh, what you have learned. So minus twenty log omega. That will be if it is much higher than a. And other things we learn. Right. But we also learn that when we are drawing this. So at frequency of A and when it's, uh, it is much lower than A frequency then uh, let's assume that this is minus 20 log A and thereafter it is decreasing by minus 20 dB per decade because it's only one pole right or it's equivalent to minus 6 dB per octave yeah all good all fine right. So, one more thing we have learned, right, uh, this decrement will be some minus 3 uh, times, uh, minus 3 times r times dv, right, in this case, okay, in this case it will be a, right. So, we talk about all these things and we studied it, but these are the curves which are the real curves or these are the smooth, smoother one. It looks like this one. Hmm? No, no, minus 20 dB per decade. This is the correct one. It depends on A. It might be plus or depend on whatever the value of A. Okay. If you like, uh, okay. Hmm? Yeah. Right. <laughs> huh. That's correct. So uh, this is the thing we learned, but let's summarize what we have learned because I want to make a body plot and what he says that do not do all these things, just draw the lines which are the asymptotic lines. So at A, till A you will have the uh, magnitude of minus 20 log a and thereafter that is sharp slope which is minus 20 db per decade this is what you are going to observe so this is what body told we are not going to make something minus 3 db uh, down or something like that right we are going to draw the sharp lines so let's summarize what exactly uh, body plot says so body plot is a frequency response it's also equal to AC response. 
which we already talked about in the first uh, first class itself the plot is composed of the magnitude as well as the phase plot today we are going to study only the magnitude plot on on paper not the phase plot For, the phase plot is very easy compared to magnitude one so let's discuss that x axis is either in a radian per second or in hertz so whichever you like angular frequency or the normal frequency that one uh, we can choose and you can uh, use it x axis is generally in log scale that's why we are using the semi log paper one side is log and one side is linear so that is how we are going to do uh, the magnitude will be measured in terms of db it's in decibel you know what is decibel which is 20 log times some number if this is ratio it's db if this is not ratio if it is voltage then it will become dbv if it is voltage the phase is me measured in degree and used to determine only one thing stability degree like uh, 45 degree 60 degree right anything wrong x axis <laughs> it's copied <laughs> Oh, both are x x. Yeah, that's correct. What's the problem? Both are correct. What's the problem? I'm redefining it. X axis has a scale of radian per second or maybe hertz. Right? And we are going to use it in log scale. X axis will be in log scale. So the paper which you have right now, it's in log scale. Right? How to read it, I'm going to uh, teach you that also. So this is uh, these are the things for Bode plot. Let's uh, redefine uh, all the all the uh, stability measuring factors such as small signal gain. Everybody know what is a small signal gain? Small signal gain, DC gain, AC gain, or differential gain. All are same. All are synonyms. Any one of the name you are calling, all are like same. So if I am drawing such kind of Bode plot means this red colored highlighted area is small signal gain, it's AC gain, it's differential gain, it might be low frequency gain, right? All are all are synonyms. So any one of the name you can call it. Okay, the next thing is unity gain bandwidth. So unity gain name suggests that when the gain is unity, the gain is unity when x is 0 dB, right? 0 dB is nothing but uh, when VO equal to V. In. So it's 0 dB. Means your gain is unity. That particular point is going to call UGVW. So this is the name we electronics people say if you are with some mechanical faculty or control faculty they are not going to call this name but the, there is another name which is called gain crossover frequency by the way again these two names are same right different two people are talking in uh, different language but it's same thing right third thing is phase margin and gain margin okay so phase margin is the one Okay, let's uh, define it afterwards. Okay, when we are going to make the phase plot. But before that, let's look at this. And you have to tell me where are the locations of poles and zeros and type and order of the system. Very quickly, can you tell me? Order is two. Okay, so somebody told order. Order is somebody told two. Four. Okay, then it's uh, correct. What about the type of the system? Two. So this is on the basis of how many integrators are there in the system, right? Right. So there are two integrators. So that decides the kind of PI controller in your system. So how many zeros are there, by the way? Minus 0.5 and minus 1.5. How many poles? Four. 0, 0, minus 1 and minus 3. Okay. And what is the small signal gain or low frequency gain, AC gain? <coughs> hmm? Okay. 
right? This is just revision what you have done, right? No problem till now. Type is two. No, no. If it is uh, cancelled, then we will not count it. No. Right? There is no pole zero infinity, right? Right now, all the poles and zeros are uh, poles are infinity, right? So, see, in that case, all the system has look two zeros. Uh, two poles are at origin, right? So, uh, which kind of system you are talking about when it's infinity? Yeah, so tell me the transfer function. This will only happen here. Yes? Yes? If it is happening, then uh, it's already very far, right? You cannot draw in your uh, uh, in your semi-log paper. Such system will happen. <laughs> if you want to see that, I can show you in analog circuit designing course. If you want to study that, I can show you that. But it's impossible to see it here. Right? <laughs> okay. If all good, then there is no doubt, right? All are expert of uh, evaluating such things. Okay. Now, you can have poles at infinity when the numerator is like greater, the order of the numerator is greater than the numerator. Yeah, so it's unstable system. So that is what I am saying. That is not going to happen in your course. We are not studying any unstable system, or we are not take making any unstable system to uh, towards sta uh, stable system. We are studying or we are analyzing all the system which are stable. So that's out of the uh, scope of this course. But if you want to study that, yes, of course, it will be part of next course. Hmm. Four. Yeah, zero is zero, but uh, because of these two zeros, the slope will change of your magnitude response. Instead of minus 20 dB, it will be minus 40. Right? So, look. Uh, So if you are listening, let's say Radio Mirchi, with which kind of pot, uh, plot is important for you? This one or this one? Red one. Why? Because, because you want to listen only only one one frequency, not so many frequencies which are disturbing each other, right? So if you want such kind of thing. You need to have the higher order of the system, right? Here you might have minus 20, minus 20, and band pass, but here you need higher order, right? So it creates lots of difference. Okay. Now there are some useful informations when we are drawing Bode plot. So if you have one single pole frequency, that is going to contribute minus 20 dB per decade. I am not writing in octave now, right? So you should understand this minus 60 dB per octave uh, of its equivalent. Single zero frequency is going to contribute plus 20 dB per decade, right? You can write down, maybe maybe it will be useful. If there are multiple poles and zeros, so n times plus or minus 20 dB per decade of the slope. We got all this derivation, right? How you got this? The slope is calculated according to the previous slope calculation also. This was the question Divanshu asked last time that one pole was giving me minus 20 and other was 0 which was contributing plus 20 and you are asking why it's becoming 0 because it's minus 20 plus 20 is going to be 0. So it takes care of the previous slope as well. Right? Now the magnitude plot looks like this one.
you may have 10 lines like this. If the first one, if you define it as 0.1, the next will be 1, next will be 10, next will be 100, because it's 10 base, log scale, right, which has 10 base. The next thing which you are reading, the bigger line, if this is 0.1, then this will be 0.2. This will be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and so on. 0.9 and then 1. When you are reading the next box, then this line will indicate what? 1.1 1 or 1 1.2 or something or 2. If you are in 2, then it's the correct answer. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? And similarly here, you will read 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and here 200, 300, 400, right? That's how this frequency is increasing. Yes, double is octave. Yes, it's octave. 0.2 to 0.4 is octave. Hmm? It's a Latin word. Octave is equal to double. Right? Now, let's assume that when you are uh, starting the Bode plot, it has only this transfer function, or you are saying this transfer function, k by s, right? Where k is the small signal gain. And just you have this transfer function, k by s. Then what you need to do? You need to go to 20 log k. Okay, as you like the plus symbol. I, I forgot your name. What's your name? Manas. So Manas, uh, you like plus, so I'm keeping plus 20 log k. Right? It's same, depending on value of k. So 20 log k, I'm here. This is one point. And as this is pole at origin, it's going to be contribute minus 20 dB per decade. That's the slope. So whatever the value is here, I'll go down by 20. I'll go down by 20. And I'll go one decade ahead. Means if this is 0.1, I'll go to 1. Right? I'll keep these two point using scale. I'll make a line. That's the magnitude response of k by s right so this is I'm, I'm drawing just for one component afterwards we will collect all 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 together let's assume that you have a situation where instead of k by s you are going to have k by s plus x that is the transfer function given to you then you have to go to 20 log k this point you have to draw the line which is 0 dB right now and you have to reach the value of x. x is the frequency. By the way, I made a mistake. It's log k by x. Okay. In this case, it will be log k by x because we have to write down in terms of right. So I have to write down in terms of tau s plus 1 if you remember. right. So Afterwards, we are going to make another minus 20 dB per decade slope from the frequency of x. So from this point, I'll go down by minus 20. I'll go ahead one decade. I'll find out one more point. These two points, I'm going to make a line. That will give me minus 20 dB per decade. Are you following this or is it going fast? Hmm? Okay. Okay. So Till now, this is not a problem. The problem happens when there is a differentiator which is coming first, means k times s. So, just for like what I follow, that is what I am showing you. There are many books, uh, they are following in a different way. If you are following like uh, Nagarat Gopal, then it's a different way. If you are following the, the real book, which I like, Ogata, it's not required to read right now, it's control book. Okay, it's not required to read now. Okay, if you are studying control, then your professor must be teaching you that. So I'm following that book for uh, drawing all this. So what you have to do, you have to go to the frequency of one by k. So 
if you have uh, are having the transfer function which looks like this one then it's equal to 20 log k plus 20 log omega do you agree with me this one right when i'm writing this i want to find out what is happening at the 0 db of value when this transfer function becomes 0 means at this line 0 db what is going to happen here so that is only happen when it's minus 20 log k sorry 20 log <coughs> omega is equal to minus 20 log k or this is happening at omega equal to 1 by k that is what i am drawing here <coughs> at 1 by k it's zero let's keep that point and i know that my pole is going to contribute plus 20 db per decade so from here i am going to draw the 20 db per decade so from this point i am going up by 20 I'll keep that point from that point I'm going one decade down sorry right. another side right side and I'll draw the line which is going to give me plus 20 dB per decade yeah all good all fine then okay one more is similar to k divided by s plus x you may have k times s plus x means k times x so you have to go to 20 log k times x you have to draw the 0 db line you have to go till x value of frequency and from there you have to draw plus 20 db per decade yes what is the name of g Kyati. okay so this will give you uh, the complete plot. Are you following this till now, right? If it is k by s, you have to go to plus 20 log k and there after you have to draw minus 20 db per decade. If it is k times x, uh, then you have to go to 1 by k and you have to draw plus 20 db per decade. If it is starting from somewhere else, then you have to uh, draw the 0 db and then go upside or downside this is only going to happen when the system is type 0 okay this will only happen when the system is type 0 otherwise this will not happen okay let's look at look at this so now you have to draw the magnitude response of the system you have to draw the magnitude response of the system in your body plot or uh, semi log paper i'm going to help you my TS will also help you. So the transfer function is S plus one and S plus three. Now you can uh, take help from my my TS. Vivek, you can sit uh, inside some of the students and. You can also sit somewhere inside this group of students, right? So that uh, everybody will uh, understand what is going on, right? And it's not a group activity, okay? So do not have just one semi log paper and uh, like others are looking at that, right? So everybody has to do this. So our strategy will be so when this is the system is given to you, our strategy is. You are going to write down all the poles and zeros. Let's write down poles and zeros. So poles are 0, 0, uh, minus 1, minus 3, and minus point minus 1.5. Right? When you are going to find out these poles and zeros, you should not start drawing body plot, but you have to order them like first is there are first two are zeros can you see these two are the poles two poles thereafter there is there is a zero which is at minus 0.5 thereafter there is a pole which is at minus 1 thereafter there is a pole 
which is at minus 1.5 and there is a 0 at minus 3 yeah hmm? is there any mistake reverse right so we we know that whenever there is a single pole it's going to contribute how much uh, value of slope minus 20. minus 20 db per decade right for two zeros minus 40 db per decade so just write down somewhere so let's make this table where we have frequency value and slope something like this now there is a zero so what do you think about the slope plus 20 but if you remember there is a statement I have written somewhere the slope is calculated according to the previous slope calculation so previous slope was minus 40 so you have to take care of minus 40 the previous plus new slope so let's take it with the green so new slope is plus 20 db per decade so effectively it's minus 20 db per decade right now what do you think about this pole minus 20 minus plus 20 minus 20 so this pole is going to contribute minus 20 but it will remember the previous minus 20 also right so it has to take care of the previous minus 20 so it's effectively minus 40 db per decade is that undo yes what about this zero plus or minus uh, plus 20 so this is going to give you minus 20 db per decade this pole minus 20 minus 20 will give you minus 40 db per decade yes <coughs> is there any problem in calculating this slope at at a given frequency if no problem then i'll draw the magnitude plot you also have to draw it in your uh, in your log paper so from where do you want to start your like first point so there are various points are given So first box, what do you want to take? Hmm? Yeah, you can take point 0.1, point 0.01 is also fine, anything is fine, which will cover from this point to this point. From this point to this point, like the maximum point, minimum to maximum, will cover all the frequencies which is given in your transfer function. Right, that is what you need to do. So you can start from point 0.1, no problem. You can keep point 0.1. So I agree with uh, Manas. So point 0.1. Then next point will be 1. Then next point will be 10. Right? So I can draw uh, my magnitude response in these two boxes without having any problem. Right? Hmm? Oh, when we are drawing this, uh, the frequencies are at the positive end only. Okay. Good question. Yeah, in magnitude plot, we are drawing everything in positive side. So these frequencies, because in reality, this minus omega will not happen. Hmm? No, no, there is nothing like no, uh, negative frequency right now. When we are drawing the magnitude plot in uh, dB, it's always positive side. And we assume that this side, it's a mirror image. If I am drawing this, means means that this side it's exactly like this. Both the cases it will be uh, at the positive side. It will be at the, at the positive side. We are drawing uh, only uh, when it's positive, not negative. This is going to happen when uh, we are going to draw with the root locus. I'm going to 
uh, tease that also afterwards. <coughs> so if it is there, then there is an impact. Right now for stability, minus frequencies are not required. So now. Sir, in case uh, there is a positive code or positive loop along with the negative. Yeah, so st still they are in this side only, positive side. Positive, yeah, everything will be positive, right? Positive side. Okay. Similarly, uh, so minimum is minus 20, minus 40. So let's make one box equal to plus 20, right? One box on y axis, which is linear scale, by the way. So you have to choose some, some place where you are going to have the 0 dB line. Right now scale is not required but yeah, <laughs> just uh, marking these, uh, these values. Till now all good or no? Along with these poles and zeros, you have to tell me the value of K also. What is the value of k? 0.25. Okay. 0.25. So how much in dB by the way? Somebody tell me without calculator, please. Okay, let's uh, go this way. If it is half, how much? Half is equal to how much uh, dB? 1.2. No, no. Half is equal to 6 dB by the way. Sorry, minus 6 dB. Hmm? Okay, so it's equal to minus 12 dB. Yeah? <laughs> no? Half is equal to minus 6 dB, so half of half will give you minus 12 dB. Right? Okay, so I'm going to start from minus 12 dB. So this is available gain to me. Now tell me, what next I need to do? I need to find out what kind of system it is. So it is following the first uh, root follows this thing k by s square. The first thing which I am saying. So I taught you following things. Whenever you are going to start, you may have k by s, then k by s plus x, k times s, or maybe k times s plus x, right? So this system starts with k divided by s square. Yeah, this is the first thing because this is at starting at the origin, right? So this particular system is going to contribute minus 40 dB per decade. This is what I want to draw. So where I need to go, I need to go to 20 log k point. 20 log k point is available at this point, right? 20 log k is here because that is equal to minus 12 dB, right? So minus now it's even if it is plus 20 log still it's at minus, right? <laughs> so it's depending on what value of k is there. So I'm here minus 12 dB. So you mark minus 12 dB in your uh, graph paper this is one point I need to draw minus 40 dB per decade now look at this not minus 20 but it's minus 40 dB per decade so you need to go down by minus 40 so around minus 52 dB and one decade ahead yeah so you got this point and this point Please draw the line which is passing through these two points. If you are getting any difficulty, please ask my TAs. They will help you. Sure. Right. Hmm. Uh, Gaurav, please ask me. Any any question is there? I am drawing minus 40 because there are two poles, not one pole. There are two poles. I took uh, like difficult system at the beginning itself maybe <laughs> right yeah, mahima are you following ok 
Okay, your friend is not here. Nikita. Yeah. So, are you following this till now? Okay. Is there anybody who could not follow this? Nakul? <coughs> if you are getting any difficulty, you can ask my TAs. They are expert to help you for sure. Or if you want, I can come to your desk also. Rishabh, fine. Okay. So, considering everyone's uh, like positive response. Khyati, all good. Khyati. Okay. If you agree with this one, this plot is only valid till 0.5. So you may see like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. So there is no need to remove the remaining plot. Don't worry. Right? Here it's minus 40 dB per decade. From this point, we are going to draw minus 20 dB per decade. Just look at this uh, table where after minus 0.5, you should draw minus 20 dB per decade. Right? So how to draw minus 20 dB per decade? From this point, whichever value is coming, let's... Minus 32. Uh, minus 32. So if it is minus 32, you need, need to go down by minus 20. So it will be minus 52 and one decade ahead, which is exactly at 5. Hmm? Ah, okay. It's okay, fine. <laughs> so whatever value is there, you have to go down by minus 20 dB and one decade ahead. So Something like this. So it's minus 20 dB per decade. Right? So other part is not useful right now. If you want to remove it, you can remove it. If you don't want to remove it, it's okay, fine. The one who is evaluating you, he knows what you are drawing. Okay, so what do you think? What what is going to happen next? What should I do next? Till now, Bode plot is not completed. We reached here only. <coughs> so what should I do next? Minus forty dB from the pole location of minus one. So I'll go to minus one, which is here. And again, going down by 40, one decade ahead. Yeah, and any confusion? Just here. Yeah. Hmm. On the axis, we have 0 to minus 20. So, when we are plotting minus 12, the log paper. So it might not be that type of paper. So when we have got it. Yeah. So then you need log paper. Completely log paper. Then it will help. No. So <coughs> you want to calculate where minus where it's 0.5, where the graph is different. Like we have taken minus 0.5, you are asking for 0.5 or so where, x axis, not y axis. So so 0.5 is fifth line from 0.1. No, Okay. No, no. I, I don't know. I just wrote what he told. How we will calculate, How we will calculate accurately? Okay. Accurately. Then you have to keep this 0.5 in this transfer function and you have to find out this. If you want to find out accurately, mathematically, you keep omega equal to 0.5 replacing with all j omega. So the way we found out for uh, uh, the, this case. What is happening at 0 dB? Right? 0.5. Right? right? 
it's a magnitude plot so omega will be positive only right <laughs> okay sorry i don't know he told me and i wrote it if you are not getting same then please excuse us <laughs> right yes nakul okay one decade ahead yes so one decade that side right from here to uh, actually i made a mistake here in drawing okay so nakul so from this point 20 uh, 40 it's 20 db down right and one decade ahead that is exactly happening at 5 right so this is one decade and this is minus 20 connecting these two points with scale you can draw better minus 20 afterwards you will go to 1 and again you are going to draw plus oh, sorry minus 40 db per decade so from this point i am going to be down by minus 40 and one decade ahead maybe somewhere here nakul are you following nakul and group those who are taking care then minus 40 so anything so you have to go down by that much of gain and one decade ahead one decade it's always with respect to one decade one decade is easy you can draw it with octave also if you want minus 6 db per octave that is also same thing octave is double then you have to go to the next line Very helps out. This is very important. That's right. Yeah. So, starting from zero. Okay. If you know that your gain is actually starting from minus twelve, so you can start from zero dB from top itself. It's not compulsory. I I I started from here.
how to find out 1.5 so this plot is not accurate enough <laughs> right so if you want to find out 1.5 one so let's assume that this is 2 then between 1 and 2 similar small lines like this will be there which are actually from between 1 to 2 right so this is exactly half the next means 1.5 the half of this value will be 1.5 yeah hmm? like uh, you cannot make it so much accurately unfortunately that is a problem when you draw it in a computer we are draw uh, drawing on uh, actually <laughs> semi-log paper just we want to learn it how to use the semi-log paper because uh, like I, my, with my experience, I learned that uh, none of your senior have done a semi-log paper ever. That's why we are practicing this. Okay. Just to become a real engineer. 